The silence is haunting and unbroken, and it lasts for hundreds of miles. Abandoned villages, burned villages, and the eerie sense of a nation in hiding. Finally, we spot three nervous, ghost-like figures. On the right, Guy says, we thought you were the rebels, the Seleka. Guy says his family, six kids, and the rest of the village are all hiding out here in the bushes, too scared to come back towards the road. We're going to go and see them now. As word spreads, others cautiously approach us. Months of conflict here in the Central African Republic have forced perhaps 400,000 people to run for their lives. They're stranded, increasingly desperate and far from help. Disease killed Flavi's youngest daughter last week. The Seleka killed her brother. We live like animals here, says the local teacher. No clean water, no food. Back on the road and far to the south, we run into the Seleka rebels. They're mostly Muslims, some foreign. They seized power in the country weeks ago, but their rebellion, by no means the first here, has collapsed into a murderous free-for-all. Now it seems no one is in charge, and the violence is surging. Suddenly, we stumble across the latest bloodshed. They bring out their dead. Seleka fighters attacked a few hours ago. A young Christian farmer, one of five killed here. Religion now fueling the violence. The international community, the French, must protect us, he says. The Muslims are terrorizing us. And now the Christians are hitting back. Nearby, we meet members of a self-defense militia. The weapons are homemade. The desire for vengeance growing. These groups have already carried out brutal reprisals against Muslims. In the middle of the mayhem, street smart Estani has found a sanctuary in the church compound in a town called Bosangoa. Estani ran from his village when the Seleka came last month and left him as an orphan. 40,000 people have now joined him here. He fights back the tears. They killed my father, he says, and took his body. I don't know what will happen to me now. It is fear that is trapping tens of thousands of people in this one spot, and that's not going to change until people are sure it's safe to go home. But French and African forces are poised to arrive here in the next week or so, and things could change, could improve quite quickly. But can they protect everyone, and for how long? This is a chronically unstable nation. All trust absent, the only currency that counts is fear. And things have never been this bad. Andrew Harding, BBC News, in the Central African Republic.